everyone this is naz islam and uh, i am a software developer and blogger in this video i am going to discuss how you can contribute to this repository uh, so as you can see that uh, this repository is tagged with uh, hacktober fest uh, which means that um, uh, this is one of those um, public repositories where you can contribute um, and for your contribution uh, all the um, all the uh, merged pull requests that you will be making so those will um, uh, be tracked to the hacktober fest contest and uh, you will get the reward for uh, contributing to these repositories so yeah like so these like repositories have their own um, uh, process for participations so as you can see that um, there are some uh, key points here that um, you need to follow when you are making any new pull request uh, to this repository. So let's um, go through the steps here. So first of all, we're going to uh, fork this repository in our local machine. And so in order to do that, um, let's uh, we need to we need to copy the the clone link so here you need to make sure that you have uh, git installed on your machine so in any case you don't have git um, on your system you can uh, click on like uh, git install or git download here and just make sure that you download um, the package so for the mac os since my operating system is mac os right uh, i just copy this um, link and you can open like a terminal window and just paste this command to install git in your system so we're gonna wait for just a few moments while this gets installed uh yeah so this successfully installed it now that uh, you have the git installed on your system we need to configure our git username and email so in order to do that we're gonna do like git config dash dash global user dot name and uh, you need to make sure that the name you provide matches with your profile so let's say if I go to my profile, right, I will click on my profile and you can see that this is my um, uh, my profile page. So you need to make sure that uh, the name matches with your name in your GitHub profile. And the other um, thing would be for the email. So we're going to do the same um, command with user.email and we're gonna provide our email id so in our in my case it should be this email id so after i i, I hit the return so it should uh, configure the git credentials on my system so now at this point um i can uh, clone this repository so let me go back and fork this repository so I'm gonna do that this way hit create the fork okay awesome so as you can see that uh, now this repository is under like my profile so now we can see that uh, this repository was forked from the hackers ignite open source community slash front inventor right so now we're gonna um we're gonna copy the http url and um, let's go to um, any specific folder as you can see that uh, this is my uh, workspace folder and uh, i can do like git clone and put in the link so now as you can see that we have opened uh, like we have cloned the repository so now what we can do so we're gonna go inside of it and uh, i'm gonna open my v uh, vs code did not open it yet okay awesome yeah as you can see that 
uh, it has opened uh, yeah, it's now open in my VS studio so the next step would be to uh, choose a, a challenge from the front-end mentors and create a new branch for it right so let's go ahead and click on this link and uh, and and we're gonna select a challenge that um, you are familiar with and uh, you think like uh, would be a good fit for uh, the practice so let's uh, go ahead and we check uh, we maybe click on any yeah so let's say like we're gonna pick this challenge and uh, so what will happen is that um, this website is going to give us a um, source code a boilerplate code where we want to add the um, functionalities or the CSS type of changes that are um, that are uh, briefly um, described here so what you what it says that uh, your user should be able to select and submit a number rating see the thank you card state after submitting a rating and see the hover and focus states for all interactive interactive elements on the page right so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go ahead and uh, click on the start challenge so now this is going to uh, ask you to log in with your github so let's go ahead and we're gonna click the link and uh, this is going to automatically log in since i've already logged in to my github profile right so we're gonna do um okay yeah. so let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna download the starter kit all right so as you can see that uh, it downloaded the folder on my system right so um what we're going to do here is that go uh, back to our repository and here you can see that the branch name should be in this format right so challenge name dash your name okay so here we're gonna uh, build our branch name first right so as you can see that this is our challenge name so the challenge name would be some sort of this with the appropriate um, guidelines and then my name so in my case it would be nals dash islam so this uh, this should be our branch name as well as the root folder for this challenge right so what we're going to do is that let's go ahead and uh, open our vs code here and as you can see that this is already pointing to the main so we're gonna do is that create a new branch and paste in the branch name hit enter so now it created the branch and also checked out into this branch there and we're going to uh, create a folder with the same name right and under here we are gonna put all uh, all the uh, boilerplate code so everything we can copy and let's drag all those here and yeah so now we can see that we have put all our code here where we should be able to make our changes okay so let's go back to the repository again so yeah as you can see that uh, we need to create a folder with the name in this format and this is where your task will be done so which we have already done that so complete the challenging uh, challenge using the html CSS, and javascript so uh, you can use any framework or library yeah so we're we're free to open uh, use any framework so either this is angular react or next js so just go ahead or bare bone html CSS or javascript right anything you just have to make sure that um, the tasks in the challenge um, are completed and uh, they're good to test 
okay so the next step is that add your name and github profile link to the contributors.md file right so this is what we are going to do at this point so let's go ahead and uh, click on the contributors.md file so here you can see that this is a uh, markdown folder so uh, on my vs code there is a small icon so if you click on it like you will you actually see the the proper formatting for this particular markdown right so as you can see that uh, there are like other contributors as well uh, who added their name and the github profile and the challenge name they what they completed so yeah as you can see like i i completed uh, another challenge and which is now um, merged um, in the main branch so which is this nft preview card component so we're going to talk about that uh, in a few minutes so let's go ahead and uh, copy one line and just maybe add uh, my name here um, here is my github profile i just copy it and i just paste it here and the challenge name right so that the challenge name is going to be this and we're gonna um, replace this name with our name all right yeah as you can see that uh, this is formatted properly on the right side so just close it go ahead and save so the next step would be that push your changes to your fork and create a pull request to the main branch of this repo make sure to add a descriptive title and a screenshot of your solution to the pull request and, uh, and once you create the pull request to the main branch the reviewers will review the pull request and uh, if they uh, feel that um, the pull request um, looks good they will merge the pull request and it will be counted to your um, contributions okay so let's go ahead and uh, make some change um, for this particular challenge and uh, i will get back once i have the code here hello everyone uh, yeah welcome back and yeah so here you can see that uh, we have um, uh, done the coding part for that particular challenge so now uh, at this point um, we can create a pull request against the main branch so just uh, before creating the pull request just make sure that um, the challenge uh, works properly so i used um, the angular framework for the ui challenge so you were uh, free to use like any uh, any framework uh, you are familiar with so here i just um, serve the application and let me uh, open up the app here let's say the localhost 4200 right yeah so here you can see that uh, the page looks pretty good the hover effects look good uh, as you can see the desktop design the active states the submitted state is like that right uh, okay so yeah so let's say that uh, we pick any of these um, ratings let's say we pick four and I hit submit and you can see that uh, it's capturing our rating and showing us the thanks thank you page yeah so this looks pretty good like for some another check uh, we can pick two and hit submit you will see that it's capturing our rating dynamically okay so at this point this looks pretty good um so the next thing actually we can do is um that uh, we can take some screenshot uh what we can add to our pull request so let's uh, take a screenshot um i'm gonna um i'm gonna take a screenshot yeah this way so um and also for so let's say that i select two and uh, i'm gonna take one another screenshot this way and as you can see that uh, so it took uh, so what we can do here is okay 
okay crop this to only have this part here okay so now at this point these two screenshots are added in my desktop i believe so these two screenshots we are going to add to our um pull request so um so we're we want to make sure that uh, this is up to date with our commit that was made so we're gonna uh, create the pull request here so just you can say that um please review the pr the pr consists of code for challenge All right. And uh, let's bring in these two files. So this is the second one and this is the first one, right? so we're gonna do the same thing so we're gonna add this one first and the second one should be here so you can say something like uh, thank you screen and the first one should be the user reading screen okay so once you are uh, done with the comment uh, you can just click on the preview so that just to make sure that uh, these are formatted properly and you have the repository just make sure that you are creating the repo um, against the main and uh, yeah so you can see the all the previous commit history is here okay so and i will hit the create yeah, so as you can see that um, this pull request is uh, open right now so as soon as the uh, maintainers review the pull request and they feel good um, they will merge the pull request and um, so after the pull request is merged what will happen right to the uh, to your hacktober uh, contest is that um, so can go ahead and click um, go ahead and open the Hacktober Fest website and uh, just click on the start hacking just initiate um, with your profile first yeah so if you go to your uh, profile page here right so uh, you can see that um, uh, I have one in um, one accepted out of four and one is waiting so now if you scroll down and uh, yeah here you see that the one pull request that i just created is currently in uh, the not accepted state so once the um, um, maintainers review the pull request and um, merge it so it will be in a waiting period for seven days so after the waiting period of the seven days is over it should be accepted like the one um, one i have here so this one is accepted and for that i um, like toward my progress it shows like one out of the four um is accepted and one is waiting so which is for example like this one is waiting and this one is not yet accepted so it's saying like not accepted but yeah once uh it's merged it will get to a waiting uh, period and after the seven days of the waiting period it should be accepted and counted towards your progress
So thanks for watching this video. Talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.